Exploration Nation. Today I'm at the site of an old double arch bridge. You may be able to see in the background here. And this bridge, I'm not sure when it was built. I'll have to look it up again. I don't think the reading material that I saw uh, told exactly when it was uh, built. But it was most likely designed by somebody named Daniel Luton. Uh, who was at the time a well-known bridge designer although there is no definite proof that he designed this particular bridge but his design is evident here with the arch uh, design uh, that you see and we'll go over there and check it out in a minute but this bridge was originally part of a nearby US highway that was four-laned and when it was four-laned in the late 60s uh, this section was abandoned and um, so the bridge has been sitting here abandoned ever since for about 50 years and it looks like it's still in real good shape so uh, unfortunately the uh, plaque that told the uh, gave the information about the bridge who designed it who built it and so on uh, was reportedly uh, pried out and stolen a long time ago so um, there's no way to really verify uh, the information uh, that I saw. So we'll go take a look and uh, see what we can see. There you can see the double arch design on it. I've seen quite a few of these designs back in the day. It was not uncommon. Let's see if I can get down there without sliding all the way down through here. This is very, very nice back here. And as you can see, unless there's a bunch on top of the bridge, it's vandalism free, which that is nice to see for a change. Maybe because the uh, majority of people don't know that this is back here. And you can see right up there cars going by, maybe just barely through the uh, bushes up there. The uh, four lane part isn't uh, very far away at all. side we'll go over there in just a minute but we'll scope out the rest of this now there's supposed to be two other bridges uh, all within about a hundred feet of here one was possibly uh, built during uh, war between the states or before it and from what I've read it's just uh, uh, part of the uh, abutments that are left so we'll go see if we can find those when we get done here This bridge is in very good shape considering that it's been sitting here for 50 years unmaintained.
and you can see where the original highway came down through here and across. See, there are no dates stamped into the concrete here. Nice view of the creek. Of course, you can see trees growing up out of the bridge through it. Give you some idea of how long it's been abandoned every bit of 50 years. And what's amazing is, even with trees growing in it, it's still solid. As I've said before, Another testament to how things were once built. They were built to last. And I can see right now I'm going to have to have a spider stick. Because this is all the spider webs are definitely taking all the fun out of this. There we go. Makes it look like, looks like uh, nobody's been in here in a while. And it is so refreshing to find something like this. It's not covered up in graffiti or somebody's tried to destroy it. And this is where the information plaque was that would have told who designed the bridge, who built it, and the year. And as you can see, just like the article that I read said, it is gone. Looks like they cut the... Uh, metal bar holding it in in order to get it out. Being as old as it was, it's probably made out of uh, brass, maybe even copper. There's a time when they made things like that out of copper. And that's a shame. Because it's been so long since this has been in use, over 50 years, I doubt the state would still have any records uh, of this here. Have to get down there and take a look at the other side of the bridge here. And this end of it if we could. There's this part of the bridge coming down here. other end of this. So I'm get a look at the construction of it. Looks 
see it is starting to crack and starting to give way so at some point this will be no more and from the looks of things here it looks like uh, I don't know if the water's running down or if it's coming through there it looks like water's coming through the bridge itself so it'll be a good it'll be here a good while longer um, but um, with nobody taking care of it it's definitely not going to be forever from over here and this is way out in the country but that highway is very busy as you can hear so hopefully the traffic noise isn't uh, interfering too much Now let's put the little touches in it to make it look as good as possible. Which I like about the older bridges and the older buildings. Even factory buildings were made to look as good as they possibly could. And that is sand right there. I don't know if they brought sand in or if that's washed down the creek. They might have brought sand in to fill this in when the bridge is built, I don't know. Man, check that out. There's anything looking back at me and out of there. No, it doesn't look like it. Alright, get back up out of here. That's an old tree right there. Really old. Alright, well that's it for this bridge, uh, and I didn't cross one coming in here, so the one that uh, was possibly built around the time of the war between the states is supposed to be out that way, so we'll go see if we can find it. I'd like to find all three of them. Now there's no description of the third one so it could be we'll walk across it and not know it <clears throat> if nothing else if we don't find the other two it'll be a nice hike through the woods this still looks like the old road bed. Yes, that's the old road bed here. You can see it sloping off where it built up here.
and I think I found the next one here. The old one. Yes, this is it. This is exactly as it was described. This one was possibly built either during or right around the time of the war between the states and just the abutments uh, are left and that's it. And when the original U.S. Highway came through here, as you can see, they just did go around this. And I kind of wonder when they built the U.S. Highway if the bridge was still here. That's more of the rocks from it. getting dark got clouds rolling in although it's up during the day all right I'm glad to have found that but you can see where the road came down through there apparently the US highway followed whatever old road this was at least to an extent go down here and get a closer look before we go on third bridge has got to be on up the way uh, and there is no description of what the third one looks like if I don't end up tripping over something It is forever more hot down here. There was a breeze blowing and it has quit. So if there's any rain or storms in the area, they've gone another way. And he's gotten real still down here. And this almost looks like it used to be a, I don't know. Started to say maybe a creek that ran through here originally. Maybe it was the creek that now flows under the bridge. Maybe they uh, rerouted it when they built the highway over there. And here's some more that went with it. down through here. I don't know, maybe that's where the road turned. I don't, I don't know. I would love to run across some pictures of this when this oldest bridge was still up. Okay, let's take a look and see if we uh, can uh, find the third bridge. They're all supposed to be within 100 feet of each other. And this third one, I couldn't find any pictures of it, couldn't find a description of it. back up here on the old US highway
and that looks like an old uh, creek bed down there. Maybe the creek goes under the bridge, changed course over the years. Since I don't have a description of this third one. might end up walking across it not realizing it. Still looks like the old US highway. We're getting closer to the new section so if we don't find this other bridge pretty soon then it may have been covered over since the individual wrote uh, what he did about it. It's a pretty area back here. It's too bad that back there where that old uh, double arch bridge is, spider stick time. Shouldn't have tossed the one I had down. All right. That uh, they couldn't have uh, built a roadside park back here. Been a little noisy, but if you're traveling, roadside picnic areas used to be all over the place before the interstates, and it was a nice place to just pull off and uh, eat, rest for a little bit, and then you could go right straight on. And this one back here would have made a nice park. But they didn't do it, so the old bridge is deteriorating, and at some point it will collapse. All right, come back over here. This way. Now I know why there are no bugs to speak of back here because there's so many spiders back here. They've eaten everything. Okay, there's creek again. So maybe this other bridge is right up here. If it's not, we're about to come back into the new highway. So far, I haven't seen it. And this section of the road is coming back in. I think we traveled further than 100 feet. 100 feet's only like a little more than 30 yards. So there's so much vegetation that's fallen that uh, we might be able to have seen it. Try it a little further. I don't want to give up just yet. What is 
that right there. I don't go too much with distances uh, given by others because some people are good at estimating distances, others not so good. Well, that's just a down tree is all it is. Well, we're coming back into the four lane, which is right there. So, if we don't see it on the way back, then it is most likely buried under all this. There's no telling how many feet of vegetation there is. All right, now I got in here, so it just follows that I should be able to get back out. Man, I haven't gone hiking and some stuff like this in a while. I enjoy it though, it's nice to get out. And as far as finding what we came for, as an old song said years ago, two out of three ain't bad. Okay, that's it for the Luton Arch Bridge, double arch bridge. Uh, it's been abandoned for around 50 years or so. I appreciate you watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and tell your friends about it. And. Uh, I do really do appreciate you watching. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.